All right, it's Jersey Jaguar, and I got a cool hockey video for you guys today. It's going to be the battle of the MICs. We're going to have a Reebok Edge 2.0 in a size 52 versus a Adidas also in a size 52. There's a lot to cover, guys. I want to get through everything, so let's get right to it. All right, and real quick, if you don't mind dropping me a like and subscribe, it greatly helps my channel and I really appreciate it. Thanks again. All right, so kicking things off is going to be the materials of the two jerseys, starting with the Reebok Edge 2.0. The main body material is going to be airnet material. It's 100% polyester. It has a nice grain to it, as you can see. They started using airnet back in the 90s, and I guess they continued all the way through these Reeboks. Now, next to the airnet, on the side trim and on the back of the jersey, we're going to have what's called stretch mesh. It's going to be 85% polyester and 15% spandex. It's really light. It's very breathable and very stretchy. And you can see right here, it has a nice, smooth texture to it. All right, so looking at the front of the jersey, I'm going to go ahead and highlight the areas that use stretch mesh. And then going to the back of the jersey, I'll also highlight the area that uses stretch mesh. Now going over to the Adidas Aero Ready jersey. Now guys, Prime Green is the newest jersey, so the best comparable would have been a Prime Green to a Edge 2.0. However, I don't have any Prime Green MICs. They are very, very, very similar to the Aero Ready in terms of MICs. The Indos have a little bit more variation, but the MICs are very similar. There is a few differences, but they are very minimal. All right, so real quick, when Mark andre Fleury came over to the Chicago Blackhawks, it was the first season that they converted over to the Prime Green template from the Aero Ready template. However, I didn't have a Prime Green and I wanted a Mark andre Fleury Blackhawks jersey, so I had this turn into Mark andre Fleury team specs even with the esposito memorial patch however on ice he did wear the prime green so i guess we're going to have to settle with this one so we're also going to have 100 percent polyester material now this is going to have a grain to it however it is going to be more stretchy than the air knit and it's going to have less noticeable grain the actual indentations within that mesh is going to be far smaller when we go to the side of the jersey we are going to have a wider whole standard sports mesh and then all the way on the top of the jersey, on the shoulders, we're going to have that same standard body material. However, we're going to have those dimples indented into the jersey. And they are very deep into the shoulders, unlike the Indos. Now, for those of you who don't know, Indos are referring to the retail authentics that are made in Indonesia. Again, the on-ice jerseys are made in Canada. Yes, there are definitely differences between the two. I have a video out. Check it out. Now, looking at the front of the jersey of the Adidas, I'm going to highlight the area of the side mesh. That's a different material, as well as on the back of the jersey. All right, guys, moving along, let's go to the construction and the hemlines within these two jerseys. So here's where we're going to start to see a lot of differences. Let's go ahead and start with the most obvious. I'm going to have side by side the necks, guys. The neck on the Adidas is going to be sublimated. It's going to be one single layer. And then we're going to have the cross section going over here with a embroidered NHL patch. And then we're going to have that standard Reebok stripe on the inside. Talking about the Adidas, we're also going to have a standard Adidas stripe on the inside. Not too much variation there, but the neck is going to be significantly different. Now, these have the same neck as the prime green. On the front, we're going to have that whopping hem right here. This is just a standard polyester smooth material. It's not mesh at all. And we're going to have a metallic nhl logo but it's also going to be divided up in sections so let's look at the sections right there on the front where the hemlines are and then when we turn the jerseys around they do look different as well the reebok is going to have a stitching going down the center of the back of the neck adidas is going to have nothing it's going to be nice and smooth with a different material all right so let's go ahead and look at the overall construction and where the jersey is hemmed along it's going to be hemmed along on the top with rounded shoulders. Then we're going to have the stretch mesh going from the bottom to the top on an angle split in two. And then we're going to have the bottom hem right around the waistline. We're going to have the stretch mesh over here by the Reebok logo. Again, we're going to still have that same side trim with the splits. And then we're going to have the same body hem over here at the bottom. Now, this is where things get really tricky. On Adidas, we're going to have a much smaller side trim area. It's going to have the same big hemline at the bottom. And again, guys, depending on the team, some teams are going to have a hemline here if they have straps. If they don't have straps, obviously, it's just going to be hemmed at the bottom of the jersey like it normally would. But on top, we're going to have those squared shoulders versus the round shoulders on the Adidas with that awesome indentation. And then on the sleeves, we're going to have multiple sections broken off from the bottom of the sleeve going up. Turning the jersey around, again, we're going to have a section dedicated to the logo, just like on the Reebok. 
Side trim is going to be right there. And again, bottom hem at the bottom of the jersey. Real quick, let's look at the differences between the two elbows. There's obviously both elbows are going to have reinforced stitching and reinforced material. It's going to be extra, extra thick on this Adidas versus only kind of thick on the Reebok. Going down to the fight straps, guys, fight straps are near identical, nothing too different there. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the team specific details. Now, guys, in terms of the logos, we're going to have a slightly smaller front crest for the Blackhawks, at least on the Reebok, and it's going to be a little bit flimsier. On the Adidas, it's going to be a little bit longer and wider by a hair. However, it's going to be much thicker, much sturdier. It feels like it's almost a piece of cardboard. Now, for the Blackhawks specifically, they both do have chain stitching per the Blackhawks have had for decades. Looking at the secondary logos at the Tomahawks, you do see a difference right there. I don't really have to explain it to you. They both have chain stitching. The front crest is better on the Adidas. However, the chain stitching on the Reebok is going to be slightly more tight now guys customization is always going to vary between team to team especially in the nhl these are both done by city sport lettering who's the chicago blackhawks official team customizer not only for the pro shop but also for the players on ice jerseys so these were made to team specs they both use stack 12 so nothing really too much to compare there but again guys some teams made differences when they went from reebok to adidas in terms of the customization it's just a team specific thing once again all right, so it's time for the measurements and fit part of the video. Again, they're both going to be a size 52, MICs, one Reebok, and one Adidas. Now, before I give each measurement, I'll have a little picture describing where I'm getting the measurements from. With that said, let's get to it. All right, so first up, we're going to have the pit to pit. Pit to pit is going to be across the chest. On the Reebok, we're going to have 25 and a half inches. And on the Adidas, we're going to have 25 and three quarters inches, actually just under 26 inches. Now at the body, right around where the ribs are for the Reebok it's going to taper in a little bit at about 23 and a half inches the Adidas is going to stay the same at 25 inches now towards the bottom of the jersey at the waist we are going to have both jerseys at 25 inches so that means the Reebok tapers in then comes slightly back out and the Adidas is just straight down all right so now we're looking at top to bottom top to bottom is going to be how long the jersey is both jerseys are actually going to be 33 inches from the top of the back of the collar all the way to the bottom of the back side of the jersey so next up we're going to have the collar to shoulder measurement as i call it it's going to be from the inside of the collar to the shoulder hem on the reebok we're going to have a whopping nine inches and on the adidas we're going to have seven and a half inches all right so from the same shoulder hem going to the bottom of the sleeve on the reebok we're going to have 23 inches and on the adidas we're going to have 25 inches so that means a total sleeve length starting from the inside of the collar going all the way down to the bottom of the sleeve on the Reebok, we're going to have 32 inches, and on the Adidas, we're going to have 32 and a half inches. All right, so I'm going to show you how these two jerseys fit. Again, they are both a MIC size 52. As for myself, I'm a little over 6'2 and about 185 pounds. I'm going to be going 360 so you can get a full view of the jerseys. So we're going to go ahead and give a final review of these two jerseys. Starting off with the fit, the fit is purely a win for the Reebok. Having an athletic build myself, the taper on the Reebok with the wider shoulders fits really nice. The sleeves aren't too short and they aren't too long. I really like the way it fits. I think it's a much better fit than Adidas, obviously. The Adidas is still nice though. And on ice, maybe the players like it better with their pads. I don't know though. From a fan perspective, I do like the Reebok. So next up, construction. I think that the material on the shoulders of the Adidas is nicer, but the shoulder hem on the Reebok is going to be nicer. In addition, that stretch mesh going all the way up and on an angle and then split by two is a really nice touch. Having the whole back a different material than the front, I'm sure makes a world of difference in terms of breathability for the players. And it does feel real nice when you're wearing it. So in that aspect, again, it's going to go to the Reebok. However, everything else on the jersey is going to be better on the Adidas. Now, guys, in terms of customization, the customization is the same specifically for the Blackhawks. However, other teams have updated customization on the Adidas, and the updated customization on the Adidas does look really cool. A lot of teams got really creative with that, so that's the one from the Adidas. Now, in terms of the materials, even though the stretch mesh is nicer on the Reebok as a secondary material, however, the main 
primary binding material on the Adidas is updated. It feels nicer. It feels more firm. It feels like a little bit more durable too. So that's cool. In addition to having those really thick shoulders with the dimples in them is a awesome and updated touch. And then we're going to have that updated collar. Now I know guys on some of the teams that doesn't necessarily look the best. However, the construction looks really sturdy, updated, as well as a metallic NHL shield. The kicker for the whole thing for the Adidas though is going to be that front crest. The front crest feels extremely firm. It's a little bit bigger. The change stitching is not too far off. However, the overall feel of the Adidas front crest is much better and there's definitely noticeable if you ask me. All right, so let's be realistic though. From a collecting standpoint, both of these are awesome to have in the collection. The Reebok is going to be a little bit easier to get and a little bit cheaper. Adidas as of now are a little bit harder to get, a little bit more expensive. However, once Fanax takes over, I have a feeling a lot of these Adidas MICs are going to be popping up. So to finalize, wear and collect in Reebok, practicality, Adidas. All right, and there you go. Those are the two MICs side by side. Let me know which one of those made in Canada jerseys you like better. Also, let me know who you think is going to be the Stanley Cup favorite as of right now. Guys, if there's another video you'd like to see me do in the future, don't hesitate to ask. I'll do my best to get it done. As always, I'll see you at the next one. Yeah.